We're back at Addison. Hey everyone, I'm Layla. I'm Adrian. And this is S3. Welcome to Three Michelin Star Addison. As soon as you arrive, you're offered a cocktail either by the fireplace in their beautiful lounge or on a patio overlooking the stunning grounds of Fairmont Grand Del Mar. After drinks, you're taken to your table to start this incredible culinary experience. Hello, I'm William Bradley, chef director of Addison Restaurant here in beautiful San Diego. Welcome to the engine of the restaurant. The daily walk into the kitchen, where you always have to touch the magic. Here are all the three-star Michelin restaurants in the world that we're amongst, so it's something for the staff to really see and visualize and pay respect to all those establishments. One of the most amazing three-star Swiss chefs, Freddy Giardet, says, one can only do well what one loves, and we feel that that translates to everything we do. We are greeting the two of you with the 2008 vintage of Crew. This is what we celebrated with when we learned that we became three stars by Michelin. This is one of the coldest vintages in Champagne. Incredible expression for us because we're Crew ambassador. Only a few restaurants in the entire world get that status, and naturally we want to welcome you in with it. Layla, that's going to be the best glass of Champagne you've ever had in your life. Probably me too, actually. The menu here is really seasonally driven, focused on California gastronomy. 90% Mother Nature drives the menu, and then the other 10% is technique. In addition to this menu, Chef is going to bring you some upgrades that is not seen for anybody else on the restaurant, but just you. On my end, allow me a couple of minutes to talk to the chef, and we'll have your experience started right away. This is a regional welcome beverage known as the Pache. Fermented pineapple, you don't see it. It's a Mexican raw sugar, subtle spice. A full bar, 10,000 bottles, and we offer three different styles of wine pairings. Traditional, it's a broad entry-level example into wine villages and styles. Then we offer a luxury. It's a deeper dive into the cellar. It's where we're highlighting rare producers doing untraditional things and unique vintages like 1990 champagne. And then just for fun, the legendary is naturally the best of the best. It allows you to explore any wine on the list. It can be a hands-on or a hands-off approach where we could pair wines like your birth year or any region or style that you desire. The world's your oyster in that category. A gift from the kitchen, Kumoto oysters with smoked salmon roe, green apples, and a horseradish pot de creme. So that bite starts creamy, and then you get a bit of crunch, and then the Komodo oyster toast kind of comes after. It's a nice, fresh, cold, vibrant, fun starter. Excellent start to the night because we know it's going to be awesome. We call it a bookend. So when it starts, it has a lot of small little bites in the beginning, and then the real core of the menu, and then it finishes with small little bites as well. Chef has created a prelude. In the front of you, we're going to start with the sake cured kompachi nigiri. On the bottom, you have a dashi meringue. On top, you have a shiso leaf and a grated wasabi. In the front of it, you have your first rendition on an A5 Wagyu beef tartare with a squid ink cracker and a miso mayo. I have a sage hill garden greens with the puffed cracker and extra virgin olive oil. It is followed by an Iberian ham with the crispy potatoes, aged sherry, and your first rendition of the white truffle from Alba, Italy. Finally, we do have a chicken liver churro with a toasted cinnamon, Mexican chocolate on top within a brick dough. We recommend as described for the flow of acidity. This presentation is pristine. It looks like a picture. That bite is incredible. The meringue at the bottom almost melts in your mouth. And then that shisha leaf on top adds so much spice. Tartar. That's delightful. The tartar is exceptional. It's incredibly well flavored. The perfect bite. Yum. William is pulling out all the stops. Like these bites are amazing. I started at a very young age and I fell in love with the craft of cooking. Over the years, I've been inspired by some of the great chefs that have come before me. I've really, really evolved as a chef over the years, and I feel that I'm at a point now in my career where I can feel that the cuisine that we do here at Addison is my own personal style. First seasonal composition of the evening, the rose of cured campachi. So here we have the um, cured campachi that we prepare every night, so we're portioning it out. So we're just getting the preparations for that. Something that takes a lot of time, a lot of precision. Uh, the process is very time consuming. So we have two chefs doing that at all times. One cutting the belly portion, 
and the other one cutting the loins, and we separate those off. Which includes layers of fermented host wheat pears, as well as golden kiwi, then garnished with an array of shiso flowers, as well as leaves. We absolutely love that dish. It is fresh. It's a little bit acidic. It's a little tart. I didn't mean for that to be so graceful. Punches you in the face. Ponzu, shisho, gorgeous. Maybe pineapple? It's almost a thick gelée bottom to it. Fish is impeccable. This next course highlights the silken textures of a savory egg custard known as chawan mushi. It includes the sweet and alluring flavor of Hokkaido uni and sea scallop, along with garden broccoli, bok choy, and seltus. At the top, it's just incredibly high quality in the you know, what you would expect, sand, salt, stone. The chawamushi and the dish itself is also so subtle, but every element is incredibly pronounced. And as a progression, it just works so nicely. You know, getting ready for mains, it works perfectly in that respect. Can you tell I'm liking this restaurant? And then here we're uh, putting together the last final touches on the secretive, famous, as the guests call it, smoked sabayon for the eggs and rice dish that we have this evening. a classic dish here at Addison called Eggs and Rice, featuring Regis over reserve caviar with smoked sabayon and kosher curry rice. I've been waiting for this for a year. There's nobody in the world that would eat that and go, eh, nobody. That dish, it's worth <laughs> the meal in itself. Directly in front of you, this is a very playful dish called Chips and Dip. Toasted dill and burnt onion with vinegar crisp and Regis over reserve caviar. A guest can really expect to be pampered. We have that old world charm in terms of the building, but we're very current and modern in terms of our approach. We don't want anyone to feel intimidated or unwelcome, but it is really one of those memorable experiences. Fun, playful pairing, salt and vinegar, dill in the cream, almost tastes like dill pickle chips. The primary fish course for this evening is the splendid Alfonsino. This is a cold water snapper that we sourced from Japan's Izu Peninsula near the Shizuoka Prefecture. And we've cooked it in the Matsu Kasa Age fashion where we laid hot oil, the skin and scales to crisp up the fish, and yet the body remains tender to the bites. Sauce in the center there is a Viterra clam fume, it balances out beautifully with artichokes, radish, and fennel. The menu has to be balanced, not a dish. I think that's really important. So the philosophy here is of the highest quality ingredients and make sure it's balanced well. So one of our other signatures here that's extremely hot, fresh out of the oven, this is our uh, house-made sourdough. It also makes for a great lunch. Any of the leftovers, we carve out and make a little uh, clam chowder or chili bowl. It is offered with three different butters. Caramelized honey butter, a whipped goat milk, and Chef has created just for you a white truffle butter. The interesting thing about this bread is so crunchy. If we're given options, I'm not not going for the truffle butter. Oh, I feel like I died and I went to heaven. So this here is our infamous truffle trolley, something that we bring out a few times a year in the season. Right now this season, we're featuring the Tartufa de Bianco, the white truffles from Alba, Italy. I will shave all the truffles table side tonight. Hello. <laughs> we have rosemary roasted sweetbreads with a pine nut riso. So riso translates in Italian to rice, but this is a riceless risotto. So it has the texture of risotto in terms of, of the bite and the creaminess, but it's made with pure pine nuts. With the roasted porcini, aged sherry, the tartufa di bianco, the white truffle from Alba Italy. Let's go, this is great, let's go. Wafts of white truffle, the aromatics come at you. There's no other truffle in the world that smells like this. Mm -hmm. oh. Japanese A5 Wagyu beef, the cut you have is the center of the ribeye. This is sourced directly from Miyazake in Japan, grade A5. It's accompanied with tempura style broccoli as well as miso eggplants and he show you. <laughs> no, okay, get into it. This is crazy. I think I just tasted my first A5. How many A5s do we have? Like 30? It's either too fatty, don't enough char on the front of it, it tastes raw, kind of gelatinous. This is like the ultimate expression of beef. Mm. Yes. The 
set your palette. This is a Use Your Custard Ceremonial Matcha in Mint. So this is what we call the grand finale of sweet treats here. Start in the center to share with the caramelized honey ice cream bonbons. Encased in white chocolate and toasted Marcona almonds along with rosemary and ginger. You have the beaten berry tartlet. It's filled with vanilla and verju, garnished with sorrel and its flowers. Following you have the tres leches taco. A milk done three ways, whipped, aerated, and condensed. Following the chocolate wafer adorned with toasted pistachio and sour cherry jam. Then we have our cocoa hazelnut crunch. You have layers of chocolate and foyatine, along with passion fruit mezcal caramel and a beautifully toasted marshmallow fluff. The last quote in the kitchen, you have to have this day in and day out. It's all in all the time. You have to be consistent. And in order to be consistent, you have to have an extreme amount of discipline. And we feel that's something that we really, really do quite well here. We have a toasted coconut and a cherry granola for your breakfast tomorrow morning. And we printed your beautiful menu so you have a nice souvenir of your experience. Have a great night. When the camera's on, I'm on. I can't be natural in front of the camera. A thing? Can you ask for another one? I've never asked for another one ever. Anyone. You're not gonna. I'm gonna ask. I have to. And like perfectly has like fresh, but the fish is perfectly cured. I. The fish is perfectly cured. It has a fresh. Oh my god.